Tucked away in a rural mountainous area in France lies a historic listed building now gloomily left to the mercy of nature. Originally the residence of a French commander, the building was founded in the year 1250 when it was built around a pre-existing Romanesque church. It was then organized as a stronghold on a square plan around a closed courtyard. A century later the buildings were devolved to a Catholic military order. During the religious wars between the Calvinists and the Catholic League, in the late 16th century, the estate got ruined. It was only in the early 18th century that the barns, the castle and the church underwent restoration works, after which the castle and its domain were sold as national property. In 1883, the western building was redesigned and a covered gallery against the facade was constructed, overlooking the courtyards. What makes this place so precious is that it is the only commandery to have kept its interior fittings. Stepping into each room feels like you have traveled centuries back in time as everything sits magically crystallized in time. Immerse yourself into a piece of true preserved French history as we visit and document this majestic desolate castle today. Alright, there we are, another morning in beautiful France. We're standing here at a huge fortified structure, which is, as you can probably already guess, a castle. A castle in France. It's abandoned, definitely 100% abandoned. It's literally been left to its fate. The way to get in here was very dangerous, it was a huge collapse. Yeah, it was there to climb all over it was uh, definitely due to collapse and uh, collapsement that we uh, are able to go inside this place so <laughs> that made actually nature made a way inside yeah, yeah, to get yeah. here and one thing we can already tell for sure is that the furniture and <laughs> they are proper antiques man they're literally the furniture is from another era a bygone era it's beautiful there yeah there is left, left so much history in this place and today we're going to show it to you as always so uh, as you could probably hear a gunshot they yeah. are hunting in this area it's uh, quite early in the morning but we are going to show you everything inside this place and just explore it all around so enjoy watching another video let's go so we're starting over here 
at the inner courtyard of this place. Yeah, and it's pretty unique. We're literally surrounded by nothing walls. but these massive walls. And uh, Moreno, have you ever seen a castle like built in this way? Actually, I think I've never explored a castle with you with an inner courtyard no, like this. No, no. Sometimes you have like farm buildings that have yeah. this, but for a castle, I think it's one of the first times. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat for sure. Also, how it's built, very irregular, as you can see mm -hmm. over there a tower. Over there on top with those windows is a beautiful hallway, a little bit like a friend of a Spanish Galleria, I would almost say. Yeah, it's very unique. And then, well, over here was once uh, the main entrance, a big gate for a car probably. Yeah, I think a vehicle could park here. Now they just dumped a lot of air. Yeah, now it's just storage, as you can tell. Well. Making a way right over here. And this is the part where we actually can enter the building. Before we do that, have a look over here. You can see that this was um, like the machinery part. Where yeah, pure craftsmanship yeah. where they used to do their crafts and all their handy jobs. Because the tools are still hanging over there on the, on the walls, exactly. on those nails. <laughs> stove, I was thinking like, huh? It's, yeah, it's a stove. Yeah. The outside kitchen, back then. Yeah. How they used to barbecue. Also look at the stones over here. It's beautiful. Yeah, the design of it, right? It's a very old and historical structure yeah it is it very is. aged i'm, I'm structure. really curious um when this was actually built like during which time i think 14 15th century or something yeah probably like that all right let's set our first way in and first of all this actually shocked me oh <laughs> look at that I think this was one day the main hallway yep, yep, of yep. the castle. Yeah, this was definitely the main entrance one day. Look at this, guys. Got this massive statue over here. It's unbelievable, huh? But it's wood. I was thinking it was actually metal. Oh, is it really wood? <laughs> yeah, it's from wood. I also thought it was some kind of metal. It's very, very unique and very detailed as well. Actually, look at this thing over here. That was like uh, actually a jug where they could collect water and then they could actually turn those things and the liquid would come out. Okay. And okay. be collected over here in this bucket, a copper bucket. All right. Wow, well, never seen it. And definitely not an entrance hall. I'm wondering what, what is actually doing here right next to the main door. Mm -hmm. It must have some kind of purpose, but anybody knows leave it down in the comment section yeah i've actually never seen it before as well uh, yeah what does it say can you translate it yeah hearts there are some words that i don't know but they are trying to make some kind of statement and as you can see where is a heart and this is a sword going through the hearts okay piercing the hearts that's a pretty harsh statement <laughs> yeah, true that. Oh yeah, and this was the main door. The main gate. What do we have over here? It's a little box. It's uh, equipment for um, a fireplace. Coffee grinder. Yeah. And look. Oh, part of a pitchfork. Yep. What did I actually just stab on? Are those parts of exhaust? Okay. Looks like it, right? Yeah, it is. It's an exhaust, man. That's quite funny. <laughs> That's just laying there. Well. Oh, sure. Wow. 
this room. Give them a glimpse because this one is beautiful. Wow, guys. Look at this. Still in the center, all the chairs poised around the table. We have a wonderful ceiling. And then the wallpaper. We can tell that we're in France right now. And it's so, so unique. Um, just, oh, this. look at this. This is the actual castle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what did you wanted to say about well, unique? Well, yeah, what I wanted to say is, especially that it's so unique how it's made. And second of all, it's so unique that it's still in this condition. Because, wow. Yeah, it's that's... It's still in a very good condition, man. Truly you remarkable. You just see that nature only did its job, and that's it. The only entrance was really recently made by nature. True. Also, look at those drapes over here. Healing over. Massive sofa. So the windows are huge. Wow. What do you have over here? This is all still so pristine. Look Damn. at that. It's all wooden decorations, handmade. Four. It's pretty unique. Seems like they collected this. Mm -hmm. A lot of cutlery inside here and silverware. Yeah, is it is it real silverware? I think so. It yeah. Seems it's silverware. There is yeah. also an emblem at the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is real silverware. Just the imagination. Like I saw it wasn't a golden box, so mm -hmm. I already guessed that's probably silverware. Damn. Look, man. It's a complete box filled, man. Yeah. <laughs> Over here is just some paperwork, nothing uh, pretty specific. Uh, oh, look at this. I just noticed there was a knob over here. What? <laughs> we just found a secret door. But that's something for after this room. <laughs> but that's crazy, man. I was just like... You haven't found If you it. stand next to it, you don't even notice it. No, 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 absolutely not. I need to say we, you know, we found like a lot of hidden doors in France, but that's this is a very secret door. And actually, the fun part is, is uh, this is the room of friends. Is yeah, looking is for. looking for. <laughs> we were a couple friends who were photographers, and they are looking for that room. <laughs> we just found it in the first minutes of filming here. You were just talking about fireplace, and here is the fireplace, and what's. A remarkably beautiful fireplace is this with the tiles, yeah. all the mosaic, and then of course the marble top and the marble finishing can be forgotten in front. That's wonderful. The flowers. I'm really amazed by this place so far already. Unbelievable, man. I love how all the plays are so pristinely standing all next to each other here. Oh, this one. Man. Dang. All the cups and yeah. little plays are over here the for China. coffee and tea. Yep, the china wear. Look at this set. Also so pristine. Yeah. Probably for special liquor and occasions. Well, and if I'm correct. Wow. All the crystal glass. Also comforture and everything there. Mm -hmm. I think this was definitely one of the dining rooms. And it's, they even say like 2015, you know, you can keep them long, but do you really think this place has been for like seven, seven years? Was it years? saying 2015 on the comforture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 21st of June. 2015 right over there i was thinking that this place was lost for a longer time yeah man yeah yeah yeah, yeah i need to say it's a mixture you know a mixture of very old fashioned furniture and just some newer it's crazy how stuffed those massive cabinets are Squeaky. Yeah, very squeaky. Yeah, and 
which is over here this is uh, quite sad except for that uh, painting over there that's quite unique yep typical painting i believe from hunter right yep yep the rabbit well you want to go uh, into i want to go into that secret room <laughs> <laughs> i was so excited all the time i'm so happy that i actually saw it Make your way through, man. Make your way Whoa. through. What's behind the secret door? Oh, wow. Guys, look at this. Wow. There is a beautiful upright piano, but first of all, look to the art ceilings. It's like we're in a little church part right now. It looks like it, right? Like a very small chapel or something. Uh, beautiful. The fireplace that used to be over here. Damn. And then the piano. Gavo is the brand of this piano. I've never seen that. It looks a little bit like a plyo, although I really like its design on the sides of where how they carved this woodwork. Really unique. All right, so on you for the test. Mm, still good. Still Maybe a little, little bit false, false but, but still good. Still good. Not too bad. Very difficult piece of music. Sheet music is laying over here. And then look, wow. the candle holders and on top of it the picture. Well, candle holders is actually for oil lamps. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. And then indeed the picture, I believe, is outside the castle. Yeah, it looks like it, right? Very old picture. A little bit faded by the sunlight. Well, talking about pictures, right over here is another one. Five people in it. I think it's also outside over here. I think the man with the glasses on the right was actually the castle lord. Imagine that there is a chance this is the family that once lived there uh, one place. of the members that was playing the piano and everything yeah <laughs> and then damn bro wow unbelievable this this is a unique masterpiece this is how it should be played a game of chess <laughs> look at this horn i believe it's for hunter so they could alert alert each other yeah yeah i believe so Actually, I really want to see what's down there in the chest. So I'm um, right. holding the game of chess for you. Oh wow! Damn. It's filled with vintage magazines. But like vintage, vintage magazines. Le Chaussure Français. That means the French Hunter, a hunting magazine. Mm -hmm. 1985, but also way older volumes, I believe. 1948, there. 1955. Yeah, some proper old magazines. This, this is a, a huge collection of all the magazines of Le Chaussure Francais. Oh, only, only even this chest, what you're opening up right now, is like that's worth something. Definitely. If you find the right person that likes to collect it, it's definitely worth something. Whoa! Look over here. Yeah. All those tiny glasses. They remind me of shot glasses, but I don't think it was the purpose uh, back then. They might even have been for the show because they're still so blinky and shiny. Wow. And there is actually another room attached to here. Yeah, well, first look at this. 
Hand embroidered. Hand embroidery, right yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> this was definitely a room for the children. There's a lot of storage, but also a lot of posters of child movies. Yeah. Oh, look at this over here. All, All those figurines. Stored in these very strange. No. What well, is actually, it? in their original packaging, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> and there is a name over there, Claire. Yeah, Claire's. I'm quite amazed about everything actually uh, to see inside of here. A lot of colors. <laughs> ghost on the ground, ghost doll. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at this clown. <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's full of toys away here. Also games inside. Well. What is up here? Whoa, there is another uh, another staircase. Oh by the way, we've not seen it this over yet. This is just another room with looks like a picture of a table where they would like draw. Some other games. And it's very strange. <laughs> doll again. Yeah. It's uh, I, I've never seen it before actually the doll. Well, you can look over here, but this is just leading upstairs. I think we will do that afterwards. Have we seen this staircase yet? I'm not too sure. I no, actually yet. quickly want to scan it. Because we've been upstairs but we've not seen this over here yet. Where is this wooden spiral staircase leading to? Aha. Yeah, you are right. Yep. Let's go into the upstairs. Yes, exactly. So let's head back down right now and then... And then uh, we will go upstairs eventually. Let's go. Before we go to the other part, we have one more room over here to show you. I need to say, this room, yeah, was once a kitchen, but uh, now it's a storage of everything these people once uh, owned. Damn, yeah, there is a lot of storage. I definitely love the old Engelnook fireplace. And like I said before, is the furniture and all the things that are over here it's a mixture of old-fashioned and newer it's quite hard to move over here actually. can you read that date there on the calendar is it 2010 i believe so right yeah yeah that's 10 2010 yeah but we saw the confiture of 2015 yeah Oh, this is truly old fashioned. This corner over here with the stone sink, with the oven, all the kitchen amenities still hanging up. All right, well, Mo. I this, think Raymond has a name. Well, I do have a name, but. What, what? This letter looks like it has been laying here for a long time. It literally says a date of one month ago. Huh? Yeah. So somebody has been inside there. Yeah, I think so. That's so strange. Yeah, that's that's quite strange. Uh, Let's hope they don't come while we are in there. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And I don't think there's somebody actually taking care of it because yeah, this place is near to collapse, you can definitely tell. It should probably still be privately owned, but <laughs> it's definitely left to 
let's say the letter is it's also not accompanying with the address so it's from some somewhere different it's strange so the name well, is not applicable want to do a quick fridge test <laughs> you really want to see me doing that huh? oh yeah i can already see some things on the side oh yeah there's also wine and something inside there <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Not much to pan out here, actually. Just uh, well, a lot, start. but <laughs> yeah, just too much dump and waste and rubbish in one place. Another well stove slash furnace. I don't get it's it. It's like an oven. Yeah, an oven with a furnace on top. All right. Let's head back to the other court and then uh, let's see on you wow first of all this already looks beautiful but before we're heading there we can see all those corks laying out over here so who knows maybe they also gained all their wealth by doing some viticulture on those sides like many french castle lords used to do back in the days yeah they used to uh well let's quickly yeah give them an overview of what we had to go through to get here i wanted to say it like yeah we really need to show the people first that this is the way we had to go like just an example like okay yeah this place is definitely uninhabited uh, <laughs> we had to crawl all the way over there <laughs> just to come it was right pretty challenging <laughs> yeah it was quite a challenge uh, especially with all the stuff but we, we like a well challenge mm -hmm. true true all right let's head up this beautiful staircase and just look at its design completely spiral it's unique very very odd and age structure that we are exploring right now this this view man wow. unbelievable it's really like we're traveling back in time yeah yeah honestly honestly really traveling back in time all right well immediately walking inside of a room and yep welcome back in time man Gosh, this room has so many beautiful antique things. If you're a history lover, then yeah, this is a gem. This is literally holding a diamond. Mm, still a shirt hanging up there. <laughs> wow, look at this stove over here. Yeah. Beautifully detailed again. And then the pen on top of it. Probably used to pull something in. Well, look at this uh, fly yeah. over here. What is it? It's a fly, but it's like uh, an ornament. Looks like it's a door stopper. Oh, uh, it's actually an ashtray, I believe. Damn, yeah, yeah, it is, it is. That's also quite unique. A unique design. Wow. The antique radio. <laughs> that one is very antique. antique. Wondering when it's for the last time played a song. Yeah. Where ink lotter. Some pots for the ink. Well, fake flowers. And look at this very old den over here. Gel frere. What is it? Hmm. I think it was some kind of gel. Some kind of cram. Mm, yeah, it's empty. Yeah, I would have been surprised when it was still in there because this looks really, really antique. Really old, yeah. And where? Oh, look, look, look. 
Um, you remember the painting from downstairs? Oh yeah, with the heart and the sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And over here, Holy Mary is doing the same. Sick. It must mean something then. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. But I think out of the entire room, there are two things I really love. And one of them is this very old bathtub. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just a thing that you can't oversee, right? No, and we haven't often found this. No, 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 no. Because honestly, Moreno... That's why I'm actually really intrigued by it. Yeah, back then, you were quite wealthy if you had like a bathtub. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I can remember that my grandfather, they used to wash like in a, in, in a box outside. Yeah, and mm. also very often when they were with more children at <coughs> home, they all, went all in the same water. All in the same water, yeah. Oh, there is a lion imprinted on the ladder over there in this chair. Oh yeah, I see. Maybe it's a family emblem. Could be. Yep, look. She's and everything, right? Yep, still left over there. Well, I said two things that I love. So yeah. Second thing is this very vintage stroller. Obviously, Moreno really, really loves these. I love Brams, yeah. This one is different than the ones we found in Belgium, for example. I need to say this one is more detailed. It yeah, has more, more elaborate, probably for the richer people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see that somebody really spent their time in design and also innovation. There used to be a net aware, so they could also lay some things down in there and transport that exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. The design was well taught. And then of course, we're in France. So a French sleigh bed cannot miss. Obviously, and then wow. this painting. Just unremarkable. You know what's actually really strange? Look on top. Yeah, yeah, I also noticed it. You know what I think it used to be? I think it used to hold the drapes of the sleigh bed over here because yep. I think the person that slept here was pretty important in the family. Maybe it was one of their only children that got this entire room. Could be, it could be the case, man. It's actually quite, quite a good thought what you have over there. First side, I wouldn't say that. What is it? For what? I don't know, maybe for some potions and lotions. Yeah, well, same as these ones. Yeah, all jewelries. Unbelievable. And what's the other room right next door? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. It also looks like a big storage dump. Oh yeah. This is big storage. This is a room that's not really worth pointing out. No. Well, you can tell that everything that was unnecessary went to one room. There is one beautiful thing to point out in this room. Look at the woodwork. Oh yeah, yeah, off for the sure. Doorpost. That's quite unique. That's really neat. It's like a trophy or something. Mm -hmm. Two things next to it remind me of some kind of wings or something. Trophy with wings. It's beautifully done. People definitely had like money back then to get everything done. That that's something that I'm always quite interesting about. Like, is it due to the fact that you have many locals, or do people really have to like, yeah travel to France and go to all these castles and then just stay there and create like the interior and then just go to another castle. Well, back in the days, most of the furniture and all the wooden antiques were all uh, customly designed for them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But was it done by people from Paris or 
No, that's mm -hmm. always one question in myself. Like, you had to travel uh, far distances because France is a big country mm -hmm. and the castle mm -hmm. are all rurally located. And back then they didn't have trucks, of course. I mean, no, absolutely not. So, yeah, big question marks. All right, as you can tell, wearing gloves right now. Just for your information, I found them, luckily. And this is pretty cool. République France Diplomé. Ministry of Past and Telecommunication Diploma. It was from a school, National School of Telecommunication. And it was given in Paris in 1971. 1971. Unbelievable. Right? Yeah, truly. France is such a mysterious country, actually. If you really think about it, it's quite a mysterious country. Well, it has a lot of history. Yeah, it does. Look at the stores as well over here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Dang. Geese. Those and are old fashions. And a sleigh. Well, there was definitely a lot of snowfall in this area in the mm. winter time. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. There were a lot of mountains, so they definitely love to do some winter sports, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, we have this uh, case of a cuckoo's clock. Actually, look at the corridor that we just entered. It's this was what I called a little bit like the Spanish gallery, where Galleria yeah. with all the windows, so much light coming in, and we've got all those frames on the sides hanging up that used to be from portraits and paintings yep that's quite a unique uh, unique spot in this way so many old things over here again the papers how old are they probably very old if you look to the advertisements probably 1950s oh. Let's see on the other side. All right. Yeah. 1973. So, what is inside here? Yeah, storage. Garbage. And have you also seen the design of yeah. the wall? The paintwork, right? It looks. It gives me grease vibe. And also with the, the columns. Yeah, we see what you're thinking there. And also the door here we just entered. Oh. That gives me a, an Arabic vibe. Yeah, Alhambra style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. you see in some of the palaces. And then, uh, as you can remember, Mo. Wow. I always like this one, sir. So. <laughs> I'm swords or sables. I think they're rather sables, right? Yep. Sable swords. Look at this. I dare to you, Moreno. <laughs> and Garde. All right. <laughs> chup, chup. <laughs> All right, pulling it down. Always good to have some fun. <laughs> wow, look at this actually over here. Got some very vintage cameras. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one looks a little bit more recent, but this one looks very old. Yeah, this is proper old. It's uh, You can actually it. click it and open it. Yeah. Don't want to destroy anything. How does this work again? You have to switch this one, right? All right, you know what, people, just leave it in the comments. If you be like Rima, you're doing it absolutely wrong. What what kind of brand is it? Can you show it? Quartz 47. All right. Because I have no clue how to open, open it, actually. What is ah, this? look over here. This is a game. I'm not sure if it's actually a French game, but it's a game. Well. Actually, right next to it, there is another game mm -hmm. that we've seen before. 
in a French property, in a mansion, the mansion of the philosopher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. it in yeah, the yeah, hallway? I remember it, I remember Where we found the same thing. But th th that one was like mini. This one is quite... This, this and one. this is with kind of fishes. And the other one was with balls, I believe. Yep, exactly. How should it work? Maybe lay this on here and then... Flip it. Like <laughs> I don't know. It. Seems something like that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is. You're right, you're right. Then you need to flip it, man. <laughs> and where you would see how many points you will be rewarded. The ranking system. Eh? <laughs> oh, dang, there is a stuffed owl right next to us. Also very detailed, yeah. Definitely a telescope and hand card. Wow, look right next to you. It's a very old bird's cage. And yet again, don't forget to mention our, this one. Beautifully upholstery and again a lion over there. So you might have been right about the family coat of arms. The painting. One of the only paintings that is left over here. Another one. Not this one is not details. as elaborate as the other one, but Still, Still beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Look at the step. Yeah, I also saw it. Yeah, of course, it's not working anymore, but... Damn, Moreno. That's very old. Yeah. Oh, this is a break. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All these children toys bringing back memories, man. So sad that it's been so damaged by collapsing ceiling over here. I actually can't believe how bad the damage over here is. It's completely open to the outside air. Yeah. Well. Another painting over there. And I really want to point out the one on the left. It's uh, Republique de France. Wow. I think that it was a very noble person, like owning this property. Yeah, was definitely from the nobility from that time. You can also see by the green color how mossy everything is over here. Mm -hmm. It's all because the elements can just come inside, rainwater, winds. Everything just comes inside. Sunlight. Quite easily. Well, we already saw that room, so yeah, I think uh, it's time to go to the other room then, man. Let's go. All right, so let's continue. And again, we have this kind of Arabic door entrance to follow to come in the next part. Let's look at the shape of this door. A little bit gothic shape. Well, this is actually the point where we just came up and we said we're going back down. So <laughs> that's to give you a little overview of where we are oriented right now. Now look at this room. Wow. Just the imagination that it can be in this state. Yeah. So clean, like... I would honestly not really mind sleeping here for the night in this bed. No, no, no. Absolutely not, man. It's not smelling too bad, there is no mold. And it actually smells quite nice, Moreno. Yeah, exactly. It smells very clean. Yeah, it smells very clean. Oh look, there is another one of those secret doors. Whoa, it's actually connected to the other room. Okay, okay. The other side, it's like a little passage. <coughs> Well, what you're showing is beautiful bed, uh, and definitely for a small child, uh, a woman, a girl, we have these ballerinas oh, look right at over here. They're hanging on the side of the bed. And I saw them also right over there. Oh, the yeah. eye for detail, man. How cute.
And if that wasn't it, then over here on the floor, somewhere. Oh yeah, another pair of ballerinas in these. And these dolls. Well. Clothes for a small girl, I would guess. Nina Ricci, Paris. I think it was some perfume. Yeah, very yeah. Cologne. Also, look how pristine everything is still standing over here. Those tiny porcelain things. And then I need to say the room next to you. Wow. I haven't even seen this no, one yet. Me oh, neither. This is unbelievable. Man. Wow. This is still so pristine and so this, this clean. Is literally like a museum. Yeah, exactly. Everything is so well in place. The books, how oh, everything is hanging up, but also all the tiny things. They're so perfectly organized. It's like a child is still sleeping here and gets, gets a bedroom story here every night. And even how all the perfumes are standing here. It's literally all set up like you say, a museum. That's crazy. Yeah, it is absolutely crazy. This is unbelievable, man. I'm, I'm getting really excited about this one. Uh, 2004 over here in the magazine. Yep. And then look at all the toys. Still properly placed. A lot of pigs, bees. <laughs> well, if an owner comes here still, I think that's definitely the room where they're staying at. And also look over here. All the toy cars, and trucks, Mickey Mouse. Crazy. The books and everything. Wow, what a room, man. Yeah, what a room, right? You wouldn't think if you saw pictures of this room that it wasn't the same place. You wouldn't even say that it's abandoned. Honestly. Oh, toy blocks over here. What is this thing? Oh, it's a harmonica. Okay. Another one too. Oh my God, Moreno. So many pictures. Yeah, and also baby pictures. Yeah, this was. Let's head a little bit closer. Don't want to go too close because I think some people are definitely still alive, and it's pretty personal. But oh yeah, yeah, some people are definitely still alive. Look how many pictures there are over here. Pictures of a communion. But there they are outside, sitting in the sun. Family gathering together. It's crazy. Unbelievable. I love the beds too. Beautiful. This room was truly like a museum. <laughs> I yes. can't believe how well in place everything is and then compared to the other rooms it's completely decayed. You see more, I'm, I'm quite speechless man. I, when I walk in here I'm like, hmm, damn. Such a contrast. Yeah. And then the imagination. Because you, you guys will see how collapsed the part next door is. All, all boxes. Clothings I guess. Nothing too specific, but just all their clothing, baby clothes. You see her baby nuts, tissue, tissue elastic. Yeah. Let's close it up again. All right. Well, you know what? You go that way. I you go take that the way, passage. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you there, bro. Door is almost falling out of where. The 
Rapper's Raymond. <laughs> Yep, the secret passage, man. Well, there's another beautiful room. And from whom do you think this room was? Like grandparents? I think the whole family lived there. Maybe this was also a room for. Oh no, this was not for gas because there was also a huge vault. Yeah, yeah. This Went could have been one of the principal rooms for. One of the owners, the older people of the family. Yep, yep, exactly. And then look on top. Oh, it's crazy. How this is all coming down. DK, my friend. DK. Unbelievable, right? Wow. All this leakage between those layers is so well visible. And then uh, over here, uh, again, some Arabic uh, artifacts. Uh, Oh, is it a hookah? Uh, it was a hookah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that, but let's fix it. It's a copper hookah. I've it's never seen hookah, that. Yeah. And also with the design, man. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? And then this very comfortable chair over here. Looks so tempting to have a seat. <laughs> Say no more. <sighs> All right, I will continue the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look job, at this man. item over here, guys. I've almost never seen it so pristinely standing right next to a bed. But it's what called a nun and priest. And I believe that this thing is called the nun, and this is the oh no, this is the nun, and this is the priest. They would put hot coals over here mm -hmm. in this pan and then they would actually shovel it right underneath the beds, put it right underneath there so the bed would be nice and warm during the winter time for the person that slept there. Call a nun and priest. Okay, okay. Yeah. Learning new things every day. Well, and then eventually they got uh, pretty sick of this uh, nun and priest and they just installed electric uh, bed warmers on the side. Yeah. You see it? <laughs> really? Are there electric no, the, bed warmers? No, the, the white thing on the side. Oh yeah, true, true. <laughs> well, eventually they didn't believe anymore in uh, <laughs> primitive technology. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I love the wallpaper. There are also yeah. those tiny frames, religious things. Yeah, this is where Raymond set. Where? The electric uh, bed, right? Yep. To heat it up. Oh man, this, this, this painting. Wow. Pfft, you see the effect on it? Yeah, how it's reflecting in the lights. I never saw something like that before. Bro, I honestly think that this painting is worth thousands of dollars i don't know but it's really unique how oh it is actually very fragile stable unbelievable man also it's, it's in a golden frame huh? it's in a freaking golden frame <laughs> yeah unique very unique what will be inside this huge wardrobe some more clothes yeah yeah Actually, some quite modern clothes. They definitely uh, knew their fashion. Can't open up the other parts. No, unfortunately. Look at this massive fold over here, too. It's also so detailed, huh? Yeah. Also from Paris. Yeah, it says Paris over here. This little plaque. Well. Vanity over here. And here. The hunting rifle bullets. Yeah. The ammunition. I don't know where this is actually leading to, man. It's very strange. We haven't seen it before. 
Looks like a wash. Well, bathroom. <laughs> it's a very, very old toilet. Oh, damn. What the wow. Hell? Oh, that's so deep. Yeah? Yeah, that's really deep. So Imagine they went to the bathroom here one day. <laughs> and also this one, it's it's like a, a scarf or an... I don't know. You can tell it's a very old place. This thing we put on top. Crazy. This is also signing of the chair money man what is, is it, it? Uh, for uh, uh, curler repair? i don't know i think it's uh, for like dental repair man okay so, like the, the, the you get the stone in between your teeth and just remove it by yourself okay so there is one other thing over here but i don't think it's much i think it's just a bar room yeah, and actually very modern compared to all the other parts of this place. Yeah, 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 <laughs> the yeah. other loo that we just saw. <laughs> Imagine the, the, the comparison of the toilet. <laughs> this one and the other one. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> Crazy. Well, should we go upstairs, sir? On you. Wallpaper over here. Oh, dang. Well, staircase also slowly collapsing over here. We're gonna make one big step. There's even another attic. Well, but I would not dare to walk up there. Yeah, the wood looks very rotten. No. Just checking it out by the staircase. Yeah, well, there's not that much to see here anyway. So definitely not worth breaking a leg or even more. All right, let's go. You can tell over here, always see these renovation types thingies just that they don't want the place to collapse but no the place hasn't collapsed yet and this room is also wow. perfectly pristine conditioned wow oh look at this sleigh bed for a child or a baby wow that Big families li living in here. Maybe. Yeah, a huge family. Also, all those little finger things. Yeah, it's if you're uh, knitting to protect your finger. of the world by Robin Hill all right okay oh dang <laughs> yeah the doll huh? yeah somebody put it over here in this chair <clears throat> yet I'm still so amazed this is in yeah absolutely insane place yeah it's a mint condition there's not a bedroom right there. Wow. Yeah. Didn't even see this yet. So, all the perfumes and the painting. And these dolls are actually quite scary. The white dolls. <laughs> So let's continue our way. I'm wondering if there's some other bedrooms on this floor. We can continue our way over here. Looks like we have something over there. Yep. Oh, wow. Another bedroom. 
Look at that. Oh, I also, dang. I love that stove over here too. The stove. With the marble and everything. And all those old portraits. Finally, we have some faces from the important people right now. Yep. I think this is a secretary's desk. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's emptied out, as you can tell. I think this is also like quite an old room. And also the view, man. Just look only up. Just looking at the mountain is crazy. Beautiful landscape over here. All those trees. The painting. Well, drawing actually. Yeah, it's a drawing of a child, I think. And I have a look at this wonderful mirror. So majestic with all the woodwork again. And again, lions. Yeah. Definitely had to do something with them. <laughs> Let's look at this over here. Quite funny. Wow. And then look. A woman's head. Mm -hmm. Handmade. Oh, look at this. Very old woman shoes too. Some heels. Yeah, quite some old bumps. And then the corset. And then have a look at all those old portraits over there on the wall. I actually love that clock. Yeah. It's very unique, man. What is the brand? Kraji? Gradua. Oh, Gradua. Or Oradua, I believe. And by the way, this painting is also beautiful. It's actually a real painting. But I love the clock, it's very unique. Over there, picture. Also crazy how this is all still standing here. Where is some kind of dental drink that people could drink, I think. Yeah, antiseptic, so like desinfection. Yeah, desinfection drink, right. This was once for the jewelry. And here. 1880. And class of 1880. Crazy. Of Marseille. So crazy. So we just went up the other staircase, but there is another one here. Yep. And I think this must be the last bit of the castle, actually. Because Wondering how far it goes to the top. Yep. Because the rest was already checked. And actually, fun fact, there is an active church on this property. Like the wall that was right over there. That's actually an active church. So <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. You see the castle also better from here. And just to give you another short explanation on... Well, there's another perspective of the collapse that we actually had to go through. That it's 100% abandoned. <sighs> this is crazy, man. What a damage. Yeah, unbelievable, right? <laughs> yeah, truly. Completely came down, like, completely came down. Beautiful day, actually. Yeah, it's very sunny out there for this time of the year. 
Well, there is a door. Let's have a look. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not going to walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the other part, the attic with the collapse, right? Yeah, and I already see holes. Just show it to them, but... Dang. Yeah, would be a stupid idea to actually venture our way up here. Well, given that the other part is actually still an active church where we cannot go to, otherwise we would get caught. Well, there are no people right now, but... We assume. <laughs> yeah, we assume. Of course, otherwise they would have already come. Um, but we do abandon it, right? We do the abandonment. Yeah, so. true. And it's quite unique that this part, what you just saw, is like completely collapsed. And the part that we just filmed, it's amazing. Honestly, it's freaking amazing. But I, I can't oversee that you need to accept and admit that there are like castles in front, which once looked so beautiful, but then this happened yeah, to these beautiful yeah. rooms. It's unbelievable. Over here? It's the one word against the other. This is a lucky shot, man. This is one out of a hundred. Let's say like that. Honestly, it's been a while since we explored such a castle in the <coughs> really yeah, beautiful one. Really beautiful. This, this was a very unique castle and I think uh, we should also end off the video over here. Yeah. I personally, like I said, one out of a hundred. How about you, Moreno? I 100% agree with you. Unbelievable, right? It's I love this place. It was like going back in time. Everything was trapped in time. Mm -hmm. So many antiques. It's, it's, yeah. So many old items. L like you're telling, like, it really traveling back in time. Uh, it just felt like... Not even like an urban exploration, honestly. It just felt like... A time machine. Yeah, man, a time <laughs> machine. We're really documenting history. And, and look where we're walking right now with all those stones and the spiral staircase. Exactly, exactly. Just the imagination that once a big family used to walk up here and now we are all that remains. Uh, well, we are talking about their remains. It's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I feel inspired to still do it uh, for an audience, uh, especially for all of you guys. And if you like it as much as I did, and of course, as Moreno did, then you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment right down below. Ring the bell notification button. Well, if you're watching on mobile, right up there. And if you're watching on PC, right down there. And as always, we see you on our next adventure. Peace out.